So we're back in Ark Survival Evolved, and um, I wish I could have played this game sooner. I believe we've been trying, but every time we've been joining the server we've been trying to play in, we find our stuff gone and our house destroyed. So I've made a local server, and uh, we're going to see how this goes. So this Let's Play, I'm going to try and tame some animals. I've already started building a... Um, sort of like a barn over there. I did record it but I lost the footage for it which is kind of annoying because it took me a while but um, I need to finish that off anyway so we'll see that goes or how that goes so I'm gonna need a lot of resources because I've been building out of stone so I will go and gather them now and I'll cut back when I have the walls and stuff like that so without further ado let's get this started and I'll see you in a bit. So about an hour ago I started this video and I wandered off into the mountains and stuff getting resources and uh, <laughs> I ended up getting killed by like a swarm of raptors which I didn't even realize they were there which kind of sucks so now I've got to get some stuff back together again so um, I'm going to make myself some tools with this bench right here and um, we're going to go off and try and finish this barn that I've been making. Right so I've just got my tools back together. Um, or main ones anyway. I haven't got any hide yet or armor. I'll probably go and make some of that in a bit. So this is the um, this is the barn I've been trying to make sort of thing. I've put some of these um, what are they called now? These troughs down. I think that's how you say it, trough. And I will probably build this higher. Uh, put a gate on here as well. But if you haven't played this before, stone takes so long to make. Like one foundation is like yeah, I'll show you right now. Actually, I'll go to the crafting structure. Stone, stone, where is it? Stone foundation. Stone foundation, there you go, 80 stones. And that is a lot of stone. Like, it pretty much means I'm going to have to either mine a rock, in which you only get like one every so often. Like, you get flint, where yeah, two stones. And after all, you can run around and pick it up off the floor, which is a lot more tedious. So, I don't really want to do that. But I have to do it. So that's why I don't include all that crap because it takes absolutely forever. I believe you can use um, admin commands, stuff like that, which I may, it may, um, what's the word? I may experiment with in the future to see what happens. But so I believe how these things work right here is you access your inventory depending on what pet you have. So say if I have a carnivore which eats meat, I put meat in there. If I have a what's the other one, a herbivore, I put berries in there I guess, like that, so um, that fills it up with like whatever that is, you can see but one berry isn't really going to do but what I need to do now is make a gate, I don't know if you can actually make a gate for this I'm, I'm pretty sure you can but I don't know if I have the engram for that yet reinforced dinosaur, a large reinforced wooden gate that would be used to use with the gateway uh, so I guess I guess I could put that here. So let's let's uh, let's see how we can make that. Um, Sixty stone, thirty wood, and twenty thatch. So I'm gonna go and get the resources for that, and I will. I might have some in my my house, but I'm not sure. I might as well do a quick tour of the house actually, really quick. Okay, so we have the cooking pot, which has a little uh little thing just for show really just so that when you're using it the smoke comes out the roof um, this is the main area I painted the um, beams red just because I wanted to uh, the bed is upstairs over here this is the balcony this is where I started the video now these fences these aren't easy to make because you actually have to stack fences on top of each other until you get them to the right level so what I had to do here was get like 20 fences, stack them on top of each other and then delete all the fences from underneath the top one which that kind of sucks but there's not much you can do about it really that's the only way to do it so this is sort of like a little watchtower with a diving board and you can survive jumping off there because this is on a waterfall as you may notice <laughs> and then this is just another upper floor, I haven't done anything with it yet I might do something later so that is that but anyway I'm going to get the resources for that gate and then we will see what we can do with that what I have done, which I guess you could call cheating if you want, is I increased the respawn rate of the trees because I got really sick when I was building the house as well. Because I needed like 60 wood for each like ceiling and it was getting kind of ridiculous. So And it was getting annoying having to run for miles at a time just to get a bit of wood. So I increased the respawn rate of the trees just to save time because I couldn't be bothered. So you can call it cheating if you want, but in my eyes it's just 
a time saver. But I guess that's what cheating is, time saving, so you know. Right, so I think we can craft this gate now. I'm hoping it's the right size. I have no idea how big this thing's going to be. But we'll soon find out. I did originally make the biggest gate, and it was just ridiculously large. It was like twice the size of this thing. And I didn't really want to use that. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That's wonderful. That's good. This is going to be a good like, little... Should I put... Nah, I'm going to do ad admin only access. What? Okay. Oh, that's so cool. It has like a cog rotating thing. Yes. So that's cool. Right, now we have the... Um, now we have the pen going. I'm going to go make a bow and arrow, which shouldn't be too hard. Oh, I'm loving this gate. That's sick. Okay, right. So I've collected some fiber. I'm just going to go back in here and make the boat in the safety of my home. <laughs> okay, close the door, please. What did I just do? Oh, I'll just repair the door. Okay. Uh, so craftables. Bow. Sweet. Now, I believe I need to make a stone arrow now, which isn't too difficult to make. Uh, where is it, though? It's gonna probably gonna be weapons, ammo, stone arrow. All right. Now I need to make some narcotic. I'm gonna need, only gonna need one arrow, um, so I'm just gonna knock him out pretty much. So I need to make some narcotic now, which I believe you need this thing for, and some spoiled meat, and some not what them berries called. Oh, I might have some in here already, actually. Yeah, spoiled meat. Um, I only need more berries though. I might have some in my cooking pot because that's where I make all my dye. Um, let's have a look. Uh, spoiled meat, I'll need that. So I'll go and plop that in. And I'll need to go and collect some berries, so let's go and do that really quick. Um, uh, let's pop them in there. Oh, come on, you can do it. There you go. Right, now I'm going to go and grab some go and grab some berries. That shouldn't take too long. Some narcotic berries. I only need to make one narcotic, so um, I'm probably going to need like I think it's 10 berries. I don't know. I never remember. I never like collecting berries because it's just a random process. It'd be much more. It'd be much better if you could pick what you could want to get from these bushes. Like when you need fiber and you just keep getting berries, it can be kind of annoying. I also ex increased the um, for anyone else. I increased the harvest amount by twice as much. I think three times as much is a bit over the top. I think, and also increased the harvest health because. To be honest, I don't see in in the normal settings that it gives you the default settings. You get like you probably get like fifteen wood, and I see in real life you get a lot more than that from cutting down a tree. It'd be better if it depended on size as well of the tree, but it doesn't, which kind of sucks. And from these, like just from looking at the, this bush, you could probably get a decent amount of like lashings or fiber or whatever from it. So I guess it, I guess you could see, if you looked at it that way, it's not as bad. Right? How many? got now six I think I might have enough I don't know if it's like I think it's between five and ten I don't think you need any more than that there you go I just got four Let's, that should be enough I'm just gonna pop these up by the way um, if you're running why I can run so fast the main thing I've upgraded is my movement speed because you know that's everything in this game if you can't run you're gonna get killed by everything um, right so we need to go and mash up some narcotic Let's add this into where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, them. Now I should be able to. If I'm right. Drugs, narcotic. There we go. Yeah, you only need five, so let's make that. Mash up that up to that. Here we go. Got some narcotic. Now let's make the trike arrow. Now I need these to keep the animal asleep. Right. So the animal or the dinosaur, I'm gonna be. Um, tranking is called the. Hang on, wait, but let me just get this out first because there we go. I need that. So the animal I'm going to be um, knock. The animal I'm going to be taming is called the parasaur. Parasaur is it? It's the the parasaur. The reason I'm doing that one is because um, by default, when you start off with the character, I've had that in my inventory the entire game so far. You get that saddle without having to make it, so I don't see why I shouldn't have one of them. And they're not that easy to find. They don't fight back. There's one over there. I can see it already. But first, I'm going to get in a few more narco berries because when I do knock it out, I'm going to need to keep it knocked out. So, um, and I'm also going to need some berries to feed it. And then eventually, I'll be able to tame it and put a saddle on it. And then 
I'll be able to ride it back over here. It's good to be able to make this series again. Because I did make we did make part one a while ago. Um That was in a multiplayer server, but like I said earlier, we have every time we go back on it, everything's gone. Like the beds and the it's not too I'm not too bothered about being raided. It's the most annoying thing is people don't even tend to take everything. They just destroy the roof, jump in, take like a bit of wood, and then destroy the bed. Like why do you need to destroy the bed? What's the point? But that's what they do because people are assholes, so you know. Right, I have I have enough narco berries now and definitely have enough to feed it with. So I'm gonna equip the trunk arrow with the boat. Okay. Alright. Let's go and farm one of these things. I hope this is gonna work. I hope it's not gonna mess mess up or something. Oh. I I'm gonna quickly grab this first actually. Oh, there's a deal. Actually I don't really want to fight anything at the moment. I haven't got any armor on at the minute, so the last thing I want to do is have to fight with something and lose all my gear again. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop this and see what happens. Hopefully, we're going to get this thing out. Is he going to pass out? Are you going to pass out? Please pass out. Please pass out. Please pass out. Please. Oh, come on. Yes, right now. Now, I believe. Now, access inventory. Put all these narco berries in to keep it under the influence. And all these in. Right, he has um, plenty of food now. And let's right, use that as well. Keep his tarpaw up. So, what I'm trying to do now, you need to keep this up so he doesn't wake up. And you also need to keep his food up so he stays alive. So. It looks like my taming level is at the moment. I am taming it, so it's going somewhere. I swear I see a tail over there. I keep looking over there. It looks like I'm seeing a tail. Just in the distance over there. Yeah, there is there's something there, but I don't want to go and see what it is in case it's a raptor. Or is it a leaf? Like, can you see that in the distance? There's definitely something there, like waving around. I don't know what it is, though. I don't want to find out either. I'm hoping it's not something big because we're quite a way up the mountain at the moment. Well, not that far up, but definitely something over there. I'm really worried it's going to try and eat me. Or even worse, my uh, new partner in crime. Oh, I need narco berries. Uh, I'm probably feeling way more than I need to, but I just want to keep the unconscious bar really high. Just because I think, I don't know if it increases effectiveness or not, but. So, it's probably been about almost a day. And uh, I've almost tamed it. I'm just going to uh, feed it a few more of these. I've got more berries. So I did it with about 30 berries. I don't think you need to feed that much at all. Like, it doesn't seem like that. I've just been trying to keep it full. And it seems to eat on its own. So, um, that's also not a problem. So, in a few more seconds. Oh, here we go. This is it. The sun's rising as well. This is the perfect moment. Arise, my friend. You are mine now. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> if I killed him, then I would be the most annoyed. But wow, its tame and effectiveness went down by it went 10%. Let's see, I press control to. Ooh, there we go. I've tamed a parasaur. Cool. Uh, I don't need to know. I don't need to know that. So, oh, what should I call him? Oh, well, this is this is difficult. Hmm. Oh, obviously mystery. Miss, no, miss, miss. Terry. SpongeBob reference. If you haven't seen SpongeBob, then you haven't lived. Mystery. There we go. So I can tell it to. Ooh, equip saddle. Um, saddle. Is that the right saddle? Please tell me this is the right saddle. I mean... I hope this is the right saddle. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be the right saddle. Why can't I equip the saddle? Mystery. Equip saddle to ride. Oh yeah, this is going to be a cool barn. You're in for a surprise when you see the place I've made you. I'm just going to put all my berries in, uh, in here. 
So I'll put them in there. And them in there. Boom. Now you have plenty of food. Keep coming in. Come on. Where'd you go? Come here. Now come in here. Please. Okay, right. Well, this will do for now. I'll just I'll try and uh, equip the saddle. So, how do I do it? I have to take this off first. Let's take these off for a minute. Hang on. Like, how do I put the saddle on? What type of animal is this? This is... Oh, I see what I'm... I'm an, I am an imbecile. I am the biggest imbecile of all time. There we go. That's all I had to do. Well... Oh, that's so cool. Ah, oh, sweet. I've got my own like... Oh my god, this is cool. Oh, yes. This is awesome. Can it run? Oh, look at this. This is sick. I am so happy right now. This is so cool. Yes. So one thing I did want to mention, by the way, is that um, I did a recent Minecraft Let's Play, and the audio was crap, and also the resolution was crap. That's because I accidentally changed that in the settings of my capture card. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. And the reason the audio was a bit crap is because I, um, I had to get some new headphones, and it turns out the audio for the voice isn't so good, so I'm using my Blue Snowball instead. So um, I'm sorry about that. That, w that won't happen again, I promise you. So... I just want to put that out there now. So I'm glad to finally have this dinosaur. I'm going to leave him right here. Uh, how do I get off? Woohoo! Oh, you are awesome, my friend. So I'm going to um, disable following. I'm going to leave him here. That's perfect. So I've got myself a fully grown, awesome, green, red, and blue saddle dinosaur. Sick. That's good. That's really cool. Uh, I'm really glad. I'm going to have to start building this place up. Might have a top floor for pterodactyls and stuff. That's so cool. But um, I think we can call it there, you know, guys. This has been a decent episode. Got myself a... Um, I'm really... That's so cool. I'm really happy with that. So, yeah. This has been a decent video. I think I could call this Let's Play a success, I think. So, um, yeah. This has been Ark Survival Survival Diaries episode number two. Hopefully I'll have another three for you very soon. And thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you later. Take it easy and bye-bye. <laughs>